Hello again. After last time, after showing me a bit of where I may have gone too far, I have to apologize to you just a bit. You see, <clears throat> There's a lot that you still have to learn about the world. The things that heroes hide. The things that they don't want you to know at UA. It's all a facade. This world we think we understand. And until you see it at rock bottom. The rest of it just looks like a bad dream. The perspective they teach you is delusion. That a hero is always a hero. And a villain, a villain. It's not that simple. And the sooner you can understand that. Well, you technically already do. If you've acknowledged those that the heroes forget, then I've got more respect for you than I do any other hero. So I thought it may be worth it to show you something else that's kind of interesting. Firstly, I wanted to ask you what do you really think runs the Hero Society right now? Who is it? What pedestal? And why? For what purpose? Stain, who's demonized as being an extremist, was someone who was fed up with it. Just like, well, I have a theory about it, actually. That maybe he suffered some incorrigible loss. Something that was determined by a hero's failure. And yet they keep getting praise. So he determined. He couldn't stand it anymore. That in order to raise a change, he would have to do violent acts. Though I can't be sure of his true intent, it was difficult to surmise beyond mere theory. Though I suppose you have a point. There is merit to both sides of the coin. Not all heroes are bad. As much as I'd like to believe it's that simple, that black and white. Nothing ever is in this world. There's always a gray area that everyone forgets. And unfortunately, this gray area numbers so many, so many who don't get to be saved by heroes. I learned something when I worked with Shigaraki. It was quite simple, really. Shigaraki, he's reeling, he's reeling from a pain, but the question of where it came from, that I have no answer, but I'd be willing to bet a hero, or the lack of, was what caused him to fall. He's someone who's selfish. He doesn't understand or care about others in general. That's why I've always butted heads with him. And while I joined him for a time, I quickly realized there was no way, no way I could live with myself if I were to have continued working with him. It's quite the contrary ideas 
We do not view things alike. We never will, because he doesn't respect those that the heroes ignore. He doesn't try and mend the problem. He just wants power, revenge, their powerful motivations, but only for a fool. If you want my honest opinion, he's no leader. No leader at all. Believe it or not, I had madness in the past. Had purpose, as it does now. It's not something simply destroying things to destroy them, or taking down heroes just for fun. I specifically have tried to create this moment. This moment's what it's all been about. That someday there'd be someone that I met, someone who would understand from the other side and who I could actually try and work with. It's the start of something, the start of something bigger, where we can dismiss the ideas of heroes and villains and once again unite to an age where we're all just human beings, people, equals. And I'm not so delusional to think that everyone can be an equal with another, but we can definitely do something about this war the inevitable war that will happen once, once everything collides. The forces that be of those who pull the strings beyond the heroes, they're working and I want you to help me to form an underground of those who can expose them. By no means. You have to, but I appreciate that you've gone this far. I realized that last time I mentioned that I, I was asking for your help and you saw something shameful from me. I apologize. It's just the pain. Sometimes it gets too much. No, I don't mean my pain. I've long since dealt with these scars. Here, wanna touch them? It all happened in the past and I let it remain docile, defeated, a sleeping beast never to wake again. It's buried, much like my family. But before you get sentimental on me, you should know I have a new family. People that I care about greatly. Those who I cherish, who understand that sacrifice is not in vain that our goal is reachable. I have the utmost faith that if you stick around and you truly get to know the people, you'll understand why I've done what I've done. And besides, how does it feel to see a villain with heart it's not easy to show weakness to you. I know you. I've studied you for a long time. It's just not in my heart to have someone whittle down and suffer. It's why I must do something, and I must do it quick. And with your help, I believe there's much to be accomplished. My 
goal is not killing, not even hurting people if I don't have to. It's to take them down. Those few at the top that caused this war. There's two pinnacles of it. Two sides that need to be dealt with. One, Shigaraki and his following. They'll continue to sow chaos and they just want it for petty revenge. I've got a few like-minded individuals already, but we need more. We'll have to form a coalition with rogues, with those who have been cast aside. There's already people here that take refuge in this society below the surface. There's many who will help and champion the cause. But what I want is not just that. I want you to see, to investigate. It will be dangerous. And truth be told, I wish there was a better way. But you're a key. A key that may open the door someday to a society without heroes and villains, to a society that we can all acknowledge and be acknowledged, where people can actually understand each other, not be blinded by the suffering that they see. I fight for that. It's not a world that heroes see, nor do villains. And I'll gladly step into the limelight as the devil himself, if that's what it takes to save the world. I've already suffered enough. But does that mean I can't suffer a little more so that they have a future? Of course I want a future for myself. But I fear that my life may be dwindling not that I'll die soon exactly. To be honest, I don't know how much longer I have. My health on the inside is rather like the outside. And what I've never mentioned, what I hide behind that cocky facade, is that my power, it eats away at me. It's an all-consuming fire. It's what caused me to look like this, my own quirk. And a hero. I don't want to talk about the hero for now, but my quirk, it ran wild when I was little. You know how everyone awakens to their quirk when they go to school, when they're in kindergarten when they're vulnerable children. My quirk came out like anyone else's, but it didn't stop. It kept burning me and burning me. The doctors couldn't put out the fire because it was an unnatural blue flame. And as you may or may not know, it's a constant threat to me. It's such a powerful fire. And I tried so hard to deal with it, eventually gaining some control. But for how long I can manage, that's the true question. <laughs> you shouldn't be worrying about me. I am strong, even if I'm fleeting, I will live a life like a star. I'll burn brighter than anyone else. No matter how short it is, I'll make sure I'm remembered. <laughs>
Can't you see that? You look just like my mother that day. I felt so bad. I didn't know how to tell her. How to convey that I would be okay. So I ran away. I really wish I didn't. But it's all in the past now. Just scars that... That we break. Scars that we rise above. And that's not the point of me telling you all this. I'm telling you this because I want you to see me as human. Not villain, not hero. But as human, despite my appearance. What's that? Are you certain it doesn't bother you? <laughs> that made me smile, so thank you. No. I have something I want to ask you. Would you accompany me for a mission? It's nothing too serious, I promise. I just wanted to show you something. Thank you. You see this place? It's made from the tunnels and thrown away technology of the city above it. It stretches out for miles. But just like people have gotten quirks, all of the rapid advancing of things caused problems down here. Things like rats, things like alligators, disease, the things that people like to forget in the world of heroes and villains. They're prominent and they require quite a lot to contend with. We have many sick that need desperate attention, but because because they're not accepted in society, because they're quirkless, most of them are just deemed unworthy. They've been pushed out of society. They've lost their citizenship and they've become outcasts. Those who are not protected by heroes nor villains. Will you help me get some cures for them? It will require us to sneak into a place, a warehouse near here. It won't be easy either, but I hope you'll understand this is saving lives just as much as those heroes try and save people in the moment. Believe it or not, we don't need some kind of savior down here. We need medicine. We need a change of thought. We need food and water. All these things are underrated by heroes. They always want to point out how they're not law-abiding. But what chance did they have with law-abiding society? They were never given a chance. Most of them were born down here. A society swept under the rug. And for what? So the perfect little city can go on moseying about, pretending to be perfect, all the while sitting on a bed of decay like a cavity in a tooth. They keep on forgetting to brush their teeth. It's difficult to stay cool about things like this, but I must maintain a level-headed approach. What you've seen of me on the surface has all been acting. I may come across as cocky or brash, but it's only to hide my true intention from those who are trying to stop me. If I look on the surface like any other villain, like some kind of evil mastermind, 
the nightly blend into what society expects right now. And what about you? What do you think society sees in you? You aren't wrong. They do see hope. And ironically, so do I. You're something special, you know that. I don't say that about a lot of people, because very few people deserve to have that praise. Most would take it in such an adverse way, like winning the lottery. They would not understand the weight of the words. They would get big-headed, turn into idiots, do something stupid and become all the rest of the heroes. But I trust you. I trust you a lot. And perhaps I'm a fool in the end. Perhaps all this has just been an elaborate act. But I choose to accept my fate. Even if that was the case. Even if all I've done was for naught. Even if all I've shown has meant nothing to you. Then at least I go down fighting. At least I go down doing what I believe in. Which is more than most people can say. And besides that, there's something about you. Something even beyond that. That makes me happy to be around you. It's not an emotion I often feel. I put on a face to try and cheer up the children down here. But most of the time, I'm looked at as a big scary monster. But when you look at me, I can tell you don't think that. I can tell you're something more. Something fascinating. And someone worth my time. Well, I understand. If you take me as being someone full of idealistical thoughts and things that will never be accomplished, at least you've humored me. You've let me explain to you what it is I believe and why. So shall we. You've been such a great help, I... I feel a little fortunate. Follow me this way. Keep your head down. We're going to be sneaking through this service tunnel to get some medicine from the hospital. No, of course. We're going to be stealing it. Trust me, if I thought there was another way to save these lives, and if we had time to earn it in a way that was not villainy, I would have long since done that. Think about it this way. Why would I put them at risk? Why would I put myself at risk? There's just no purpose to it unless it is necessity. Now, shall we? I'm going to climb up this ladder. You climb quickly behind me. Try not to make a sound. We're going to be in the basement. It's not going to be easy because I have to blow the door. Just be ready to grab things quickly. Go, go, go. It's this way. Don't worry, I know how to control my quirk. I won't hurt anyone. They're just knocked out. Here we are. Take as much as you can fit in that bag. But leave some for them as well. Think of this as Robin Hood. We steal only what is necessary. 
can we leave them enough to survive? It's compensation. Now let's go. Why do you ask? I try and leave things. It's a bad habit, I know. Perhaps someday it'll get me caught. But I try and leave things. Some sort of compensation. So that those who are stolen from know that there was never ill intent. They understand that we're only doing what we must to survive. And it's only a temporary measure anyways. The goal was never to have this last forever. It wasn't even supposed to last this long. But I never met someone who I could trust. Let's head back this way. Quickly. I think we lost them. All right. It's important that you understand that I'm not asking you to do anything like this, not on a regular basis. I would never dream of asking you something like that. Because frankly, I don't want you to have to deal with all that, the dangers that it brings. It's not something that's befitting of you. And you have a kind heart. Something that is far too uncommon in this world. And it makes me want to be a hero. Not one of the fake ones, but one in your eyes. An all might. A true hero. Those that are so few and far between in this world. But I think you're just like it. That ideal. If every hero was only like you, then maybe things wouldn't be so bad. But what's the point in wishing when we can just change it? It won't be easy, and you might have to face former comrades at one point. But I promise you, this will fix the world. It will make it a better place. It will help recover the problems that has started, that have festered for 40 years, long before me or you were born. It's been a long time going, but we should be the ones to end it, even if we weren't the ones to start it. At last, we've made it back home. Or at least I hope you'll come to call this place home. You'll give them a lot of hope. I'm seeing a pro hero like you. Giving them... Even a look. Makes them happy. Unfortunately... My reputation... Kind of steals that away. So I can't do the same. I envy that of you, hero. I had something very important that I wanted to tell you. But only if you have the time to listen. It's by no means necessary or needed. But I'd appreciate it if you'd follow me. Thank you. This is my quarters. It's kind of simple, isn't it? It's got a lot of memories. A lot of clippings of things and... Well, it's always inspiring me. To know that what I'm doing has purpose. 
And I know it's not proper of me to say this, especially in such a short amount of time knowing you. But I've come to understand that I don't just admire you, Hero. I've never been able to find such relation with someone like I have with you. And it makes me very happy to be around you. So perhaps it's presumptuous of me to say again. But would you perhaps be willing to consider me as something special to you? It's also something that was one of my goals. Not if I ever found someone who could see me as anything beyond a monster that I would ask no matter how unlikely. So consider this. That question. That promise with myself. Now I know you'll probably not want someone like me. But I hope you'll understand why I ask. It's because you're such an amazing person. You're my hero. joking, aren't you? It's not nice to give me hope like that. You swear you're serious. If you mean that, then I don't know what to say. I never thought in a million years that in my short life I'd be able to have someone close to me ever since I lost them as far back as I can remember I never thought this day would come so hero I'm so glad that we found each other I'm so glad that I can share even a moment with you. And I hope that someday, someday soon, we can find the truth of what lies beyond the black and white. I believe in you. Won't you believe in me just a little? I appreciate that, thinking that you don't consider me a villain. That means more than you could imagine. And besides that, I, well, I know it's not easy to figure things out, but I wanted to at least show you this. <clears throat> I guess it's a bit silly to say this now, but that was my first kiss, and I just hope it's not the last. I hope that someday I'll be able to give you another. But I fear that for now, we'll have to wait. Oh, trust me, hero. I would love nothing more than to share in such wonderful embrace and, and feel what it's like to live as a human again. 
But there's so much going through my mind, my heart, that I feel guilty. I feel guilty that I, that I've shown such weakness to you. I want to be strong, stronger than all might, stronger than anyone. And it's so hard sometimes, you know. And just sitting on my bed with you here. It's given me a lot of strength. Strength to fight against my quirk. Strength to be someone even greater in this world. And I just want to know more about you. It's refreshing. You have no idea how many people just think I'm some kind of inhuman monster. They don't even bother to ask. They don't even bother to try and understand. But you, you have empathy. But more than that, you have strength. Won't you share that with me? Even if it's just a little. What are you doing? Isn't it... not the right time for this? I... I'm sorry if I lack experience with this and, well, I'm, I'm fine. If you really mean to do this, I would never stop you. In fact, I'd be a liar if I said it was unwanted. I am a villain after all. <sighs> Feeling you touch me. Because it's you, it makes my heart race. It may be something that you wouldn't expect from someone big and scary like me, but I actually kind of have a fear of touch. But it's not that way around you. Perhaps it's a fear of rejection, a fear of people considering me a monster that I never wanted to be, that I never could see past. Why are you doing this? Are you sure in your actions that this is what you wanted to do? I understand, but I need to know that you actually feel this way. Are you sure you're okay with me? And I shall do my very best to be accommodating for you. I know this is all so abrupt, but it makes me very happy. And I swear to you that for as long as I live, I will make a future that you can be proud of. And I want to share it with you for as long as I can. I don't want to die. I don't want to die at all. And that's probably what I was more afraid of than anything. Is not wanting to die. I... I'm afraid of having a reason to live. Afraid of it. But you're giving it to me. And I... I don't know how else to put it. But that's why I'm shaking. And that's why I'm trying so hard. To make you... 
have a clear understanding of me. Because so many just see that beast, the facade at the surface, but you, it feels like you see right through me. And maybe there's still a beast inside, but that beast is one that wants you beyond anything else in this world. Do you want to know something that no one else in this world knows? It's one of my deepest secrets, and, well, my name was given to me by my mother, Davi. Do you know what it means? I kept it because it means dearly loved in hope that someday someone would truly love me too. And now I hope that my, my selfish wish, my selfish wish can come true. And I know it's not very easy. None of this is. It's difficult in the world. It's a horrible place sometimes. But thank you. Thank you for all you've done so far. Thank you for caring about me. I cannot tell you in words how much it means. Not at all. It's so hard to say. But I can express it in action. And I want to. counts my second kiss and I'm proud I hope that I didn't do too bad with it but you know what I've got a little confidence in myself if I can deal with all the adversity that I have so far I know I can handle sharing my love with you Does it feel bad feeling my burned skin against you? Are you sure it doesn't bother you? In that case, I'm happy and honored to be able to touch you. Does it excite you? I hope my appearance isn't too much of a difficulty for you, but honestly, I can see it in your eyes even before you answer. You're such an honest person, and I love that about you. It really doesn't bother you, does it? That's amazing. I... I want to share myself with you. Is it too soon? I know. Just a while back, we were hero and villain. Two opposites. But perhaps in this case, opposites attract. <laughs> no, love, don't let it worry you. I've dealt with this cough for all my life. Though not many know about it. And besides, 
You should worry about yourself, shouldn't you? <sighs> You're so soft, my love. It's incredible, actually. Your body's like silk. I've only really touched it once. But you remind me of... of the warm, happy times that I had with my family. It's just... having... my dreams and... a true love or the potential for it dangled in front of me was too much. I could not. You're too amazing for that. Way too amazing. And I... I'll make sure... that I take responsibility. So you better as well. The last thing we want... is for people to lose faith in us. Because of what we ourselves want. That's why I stand by everything I've said. And I'll stand by everything in the future. I'll make a bright future for us. Or die trying. N no. I don't mean that. I don't want to die. So I won't. It's as simple as that. I'll earn your trust. It may not be easy to make you believe my words after what I've said about my quirk and about my past. But I'll work really hard to make sure, make damn sure, that I don't leave you behind. You think I would try this hard? Get this far? Just for nothing? No, I'm not that weak. Sometimes I wish I was, though. You... A hero who's so strong. Have you ever admired or... Envied the weak? It's something of a... Guilty habit of mine. I envy them, those able to be weak in this world, those that survive like that, but at the same time, I pity them, not because they're pathetic or anything, in fact it's the truly weak that tend to surprise you, at least in some regards. They'll surprise you by being braver than they can. Many years back, I guess I was that little weakling with courage, but no follow through. And now I'm strong, but also weak. I want my weakness to be your strength. I want my strength to be your hope in a future where all of us outcasts and hero and villain alike can all live in harmony together in something of a fair and balanced world. <coughs> <coughs> No, love. It's... It's nothing. I'm... Just fine. It's just sometimes... Sometimes it gets rather difficult. And as much as I try... I can't always make it... Go away. Sometimes the reality of life is... It's bittersweet. Sometimes you get the sweet. 
and other times you face the bitter. But it's not that you ever give up or quit trying. No, you're always trying to make it happen. You're always fighting the next obstacle in your path and you crawl if you can't walk. You claw if you can't crawl. And you lift your lungs, even when it hurts. Tell me, what is it you like most about this world? Ah, that's a wonderful choice. I like innocent things like that too. But for me, what I like most about this world, I like you and what you stand for. True heroes are not that easy, not that simple as to just be a hero. They see the bigger picture like you have. But you, not only that, you see people as more than monsters, more than struggles, more than scars. Your point of view and people like you are what give me hope, what gives me my own strength to fight against fate itself, to fight against all the adversity that I face <clears throat> whenever things don't go well. And all those times that we struggle, it's so refreshing to be able to have somebody that I can trust. A hero that isn't for show. So thank you. Thank you for being my hero. And I'll be yours. Don't you ever think I won't. I've got no time to waste, and I'll make the years flourish like a firework in the sky until we can sit under them. You know, that's a dream of mine, right? To watch the fireworks again, like I did back then with my, my family. Maybe even someday, we can start a family and show our kin that, that the world's not such a bad place anymore. I'll be honest though, I fear so many things about the future in that way. I hope you'll be patient with me and understand you're my first and last love from now until forever. You will be my heart for as long as you see fit to share it with me. <coughs> I want to enjoy life to its fullest by your side and enjoy so many things. So know that even within suffering, there's happiness so much happiness within my heart that the pain just goes away 
Let the burns feel like fresh new skin. And let this broken smile of mine, that it's just for you. And that I will make it a smile from the heart from now until forever. I won't let it ever hold me down. And I'll always bring you up when you fall down. I won't let hero or villain, good or evil, ever stop me from being there for you. It's my solemn promise to you. From now until eternity, until I burn for all of my mistakes, I want to make you smile.